Hello, folks, and welcome to Red Dog TV. This is Sting Red Dog here with Vindaloo. We have hey this guys. match starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And Vin, we are seeing Arkea versus Duplex. Duplex being aliens and Arkea being the Marines. How excited for you are, are you for this yeah, match? Yeah, both European teams, both are awesome on the top. Of course, Arkea is on the higher top than Duplex, but anyway, both are top European teams, and this game is going to be so awesome. So, Marine started a sub-access with a 2-2 two, two split, uh, but we see... Four Skulks yep. hanging out in Pipe Junction from Duplex, uh, and they are being quiet. They know Tane is coming in to kind of check things out. Poor Tane at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he sees them first, and now they know. So, yeah. Tain's gonna die. That's Tain's gonna go down for sure. Uh, Trefnix is running away. No, wow, really they just it. ran <laughs> over him like he wasn't even there. <laughs> and Skulkin right, goes and down. down. That was pretty good. On exchange. other side, uh, there's being a resource belt in flight control, and the one in computer lab uh, is being harassed by Felix. We still got this fight here in ventilation. These yep. three skulks and uh, Archaea coming back up. We got Swalk there that just gets owned behind the refinery, and those other ones go drop back. All right. So again, three skulks right now uh, at the pipe junction, trying to get a jump on Trefnix. Uh, Trefnix die. Uh, Dane actually got through, and he has shot back, so they might have heard him there. Uh, I think they did. Yeah. Oh yeah, he just oh, killed wow. Risk. Nice shot there. Uh, very, very nice shot. And if we look at over the map too, the Marines, uh, we got Archaea pushing into crossroads right now. Um, we got Ray just holding down Computer Lab and Summit Reception. Yeah. Um, we see a couple of scouts around the map just so... Well, King Yo just died from a duplex on the crossroads. Uh, let's see if a Felix can harass this before Ray gets in there in computer lab. But on the other side, you can see the Dane is already building uh, another resource tower for Marines in Data Core. We've got three aliens in there, uh, Swalk, Wreck, and Risk. Dane is there alone. Dane is I don't there think alone. He can I don't think he's going to be able to hold this off. He might take out Swalk. Uh, reinforcements coming in, Skugan coming in. But too late, Tane already went down, and that newly yep. built resource tower is going to maybe go down if those other skull can just keep these marines away. Wow. So two marines in there, three scouts. Now Rek takes Trefnix and Skogan takes a risk. Let's see if the Rek can uh Nice Skogan health there. drops. Oh but wow. not enough and that resource tower is gonna eat it in data core. Great exchange by Duplex and Archaea. Dane actually went uh, this time to the flight control to help uh, Ray secure uh, that the resource tower in there. And I see more harassment coming up uh, on the computer lab. Two scouts in there. And again, uh, Corio Skugan uh, trying to pressure data core, but there are no scouts uh, this time. So the slower they go in there, the better for aliens. And, and we're uh, seeing up in Crevice a little bit of push there from Arkea, but Duplex yeah. is saying no thanks. Uh, but it's not going to be enough. Arkea takes down Risk. Aloros, or, yeah, it's Aloros. <laughs> it's Aioros. Aioros <laughs> is trying to, to push them away, and he, he kind of does. Wow. Yeah, I don't think he's being pushed away per se. More likely they want to save that RT back here in flight control. Uh, Correct. It's at 20%. Uh, yeah. Let's t take me through uh, the upgrades here, Vin. What what is each team sitting on? All right. So aliens, as uh, per usual in competitive gameplay, they got a Craig Hive with a Carapace uh, upgrade. And on the Marines, when you look at the side, they already got uh, observatory done. Uh, they got shotguns, armor one. They are going for weapons one and welders if you look at the times four minutes 15 seconds in the game they are right on their upgrades and they are holding this game tight in their palms but let's see what duplex can do about that uh for every uh it, it seems like our Ar Ar archaea is having trouble um 
keeping the res nodes that they are dropping, though they yeah, are sitting on five, but... Uh, there I is think... no worries there. Press the queue and show the viewers what's the resource difference uh, between gathered and... Uh, and for a while, you, know? you see Duplex sitting on just two uh, for yeah. a very long time, since a minute 15 into the game. Big fight in reactor core right now. Alright. That the reactor core... Uh, you see, there's a standard kind of a defense when you know you don't want to really go further there. Uh, you put those clocks up there, maybe a crack and of course hydras to help out. So they hold the reactor and I can see infestation spreading a bit into the glass hallway. Uh, of course crossroads, but there is still that RT down there and it's not down yet. Right, nice shotguns uh, from Tane. He is crazy. Tane and a shotgun. I mean, wow. He's got have very, to very good that. aim. Um, it, it, yeah. It's almost every single pellet that he shoots hits you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they so turn crazy. in midair and smack you right in the throat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, too bad. I don't see a. Uh, uh, I don't see a uh, Fana around because Fana Tain is a pain train, so Tain's got to be like uh, he's not he doesn't have his body around, but he is making his shotgun worth uh, every penny, man. Yeah, just and, crazy. And if we look at this map, Vin, we're we're seeing the Archaea is just dominating in uh, unit map control. Yep. Uh, they're all over the place. They got an advanced armory coming up. They got weapons too being researched right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, versus the aliens who just got a lurk on the field not too long ago. Uh, the, it's definitely working out for Archaea. But the pressure on the reactor failed, and now they can get the. I mean, the duplex can take it around the map, and we already see them taking down the data core resource tower. The ventilation went actually down uh, about half a minute ago, and. Wow, so the com chair was being dropped at the crossroads and it's being cancelled. Not sure. Yeah, not What's sure the if idea they did behind that on it. purpose or, or yep. what, but Maybe we'll see it. what happens. Uh, we got a push into data core um, at this point. They uh, they took out that marine RT and dropped theirs right away, so it looks like they are going for data core. Uh, it, they're not going to hold it, though. They got pushed off by those two marines and duplex. Those two skulks on the ceiling are figuring out what to do. Folex just goes down, and so does Ray, and the lurk comes in, and he is backing off. King Yo is just going to yep. harass from far he away. He needs to get back. He needs to get out of there. Shotgun. Korea is great shooting uh, with an assault rifle and now we can see in a flight control that they don't want to really drop it in crossroads so they built that uh, second com chair in flight control there is a small horseman in computer lab there is a small fight in crossroads but that could be a big fight that lurk is being cornered in there wow scan going on they really want to get him King Yo is hiding up there He's not sure. He can <laughs> He's make like it. looking left and right, like um, yeah. um, excuse me. Where do I go? <laughs> they really oh. know. Yeah, and more shots coming this way. He needs to get out, and he doesn't know. And yeah, the... ah, what? This would be a thirty resource loss for duplex if they lose that. Oh, yeah. And just from behind, Ray comes and kills Carullo and gets yeah. King Yo out of there. So he can be wow. saved. Yeah, but that shotgun, I mean, Dane is still sitting there strong. Oh, Seeing wow. Swak getting pushed away in flight control, he tried to harass there, but yep. Archaea basically said no way. Uh, and we got two uh, Skulks going into crossroads right now from Summit Reception, yeah. taking down that RT, it's going to go down, and there goes another resource tower for the Marines. <laughs> so... Already eight resource towers are uh, destroyed by aliens. However, if you look at the economy side down, and what? Let yeah, down. and we see King Yo. Thanks, Bonkers. That's our re our ENSL referee. Um, <laughs> the lurk is down. Um, so that's a 30 res cost for duplex. I'm. I haven't caught that anyway. I've been and talking about that the uh, Archie are still strong on their macro game and the pressure is just so high. Of course All by right, Tane. So yeah. we learned that yeah, that lurk <laughs> got taken down by Tane who's got an awesome shot. 
thanks for that info. We see these two Marines coming in through glass hallway, pushing into reactor core. This could be pretty dangerous. Yeah, in the same time, we've got uh, two Marines, Trefniks in the ray, pressuring the Krevis. Uh, there's one Skulk in there, takes down the ray. Wow! And, and he falls there. into the abyss. Reactor core is uh, is in trouble. So is Krevis. Archaea is all over the map at this point. What a great oh, game. Yeah. Even in the Krevis, even using a <laughs> Drifter to help out, but the Trefnik <laughs> gets a nano shield, and that's it for the resource tower in there. Wow, and li just like that, Duplex is down to their main base resource tower uh, in one fell swoop, and Archaea knows it. They are applying the pressure yep. right now, and they are just going to close this vice on Atrium pretty soon here. In terms of upgrades, smoke. we see jetpacks coming up pretty soon. Wow. Yeah, if if uh, those Marines get jetpacks, I think the Archaea just gonna win in like two minutes man it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe we, you want, yeah we might see a gg rather than a like a victory by out. killing the hive yeah yeah exactly like i mean look they are just sitting duplex is just sitting on all skulks and we see jetpacks is done all the marines have enough uh, res for jetpacks and weapons and <laughs> jetpacks and shotguns is a very dangerous combo <laughs> especially in the hands with uh, of, of say tain uh, and the rest of the team yeah Big fight in reactor core right now. Karuyu versus Tane. He just got nano shielded. Such great micro from the calm, and they just pushed him away. Wow! What a great and fight. Look at the crevice. Ooh. They the the Trefnix and Skugan built the resource tower in crevice. Uh, no shame in it in that, and they went for the atrium. However, we've seen a beacon into the sub access and must have been that's a because little bit of a harassment there oh or to get no no everyone no to get they, jetpacks yeah exactly they wanted to get jetpacks so wow that is amazing <laughs> uh we're seeing uh flight control rt being harassed but they all have jetpacks and shotguns now we got armor 2 being researched <laughs> weapons 2 is already done oh it's not and there's the good game from Duplex, right. Vin, you were right. Once they got those jetpacks, it we were gonna see a GG. <laughs> I can read the game like an open book, guys. <laughs> Go very, subscribe very to my channel. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, that awesome game. Round one, Archaea versus Duplex. We are gonna move into round two. Stay tuned here on Red Dog TV. This is Sting Red Dog and Vindaloo. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, folks, for round two, Archaea versus Duplex. Duplex is the Marines this time around, and we got Archaea playing their alien game. I am here, Sting Red Dog, with Vindaloo, and we're going to be hey, bringing everyone. this to you live. And this is, I, I'm looking forward to this match. I want to see Duplex's uh, Marine game uh, very much. Uh, what do you think, Vin? Yeah, almost live. Of course, there's a three-minute delay. I'm sorry, Red Dog. I'm just gonna <laughs> correct you on he everything. Is correct. There. <laughs> there is a three-minute delay, folks, because we don't want any prying eyes coming into anyway, the stream. Anyway, uh, <laughs> is a really good European team, and I'm thinking their Marine game might be a bit stronger than the Alien one. So, uh, I think we are there for a good match. And uh, Archaea, of course, uh, they are best at everything, but, you know, if you don't play uh, with uh, better players, I mean, against the better teams, you don't scream against the better teams, you cannot get that uh, skill ceiling much higher, you know, so... Yep, and we see Ready from Archaea, good luck and have fun to both teams. One second, yeah. and we start here. Round two on Summit. Let's get this underway. And we are right. seeing that Duplex has started in Flight Control and Data Core. Um, Archaea starts there. And the split is three Marines coming to the computer lab. Uh, two Marines going to Summit Reception. Actually splitting up. One's going for a crossroad. And if you look uh, at the aliens, they already got the Gorge. He's heading uh, towards a reactor car. And uh, first fight in a crossroads. Duplex taking both scouts down. Uh, King Yo is a bit uh, harm. He needs to be careful there, but getting uh, health packs from his commander. We're seeing uh, a little bit of uh, harassment coming in computer lab from Ray. Duplex knowing that that skulk is in the vents and probably going to keep them pinned there. Glass Hallway is having a fight as well, and so is Crevis RT. Uh, is being attacked. Yeah, uh, smartly those two marines going to the reactor core. They want to cut the alien expansion at its roots, so that's the best way to do it. Uh, but yeah. the Kingyo is the only one survivor in there, he needs to be really careful. He's yeah, gonna... you know, Check on data core maybe. I've seen some great games today where uh, the sys chain has been um, you know, a target for the marine team. It's yeah. so crucial to cut that off. That's what you need to do. So, as an alien, what you need to do is harass the resource towers, and that's uh, what Archaea is doing. They just took down the crevice are the but didn't survive. Great uh, pistol shooting by Swalk. And uh, look at the upgrades. Uh, um, aliens went for Craig Hive so far, and Marines went for Mines. They are going to put them all around those RTs and other real important infrastructure so that's we gonna just come saw up in Ray the game. take out a marine in the vents with two percent health that was a, a great little run right there um now down in sub access some uh the marine there in duplex is feeling some pressure from ray and skugan they just put up an rt there yeah but look at the atrium another rt coming up there Dane as a solo scout probably wanna get the bite in there yeah Gets Swalk, wow, great wow. job, and gets Rex Tane too. with Green. his teeth as well as his bullets, he can, <laughs> still, he can still just nail anybody, and now he's being reinforced, and that extractor gets uh, recycled. Alright, so, Grevis, uh, no luck there for Marines, that uh, Tane are just gonna blow up in the vents fight the that RT, and... Uh, both RTs in Kerevis and Atrium go down, and, and the, the third RT one in, in sub is going down. Wow. Gonna go down too. Nice pressure there. Very nice pressure. Um, Duplex at this point um, is probably wondering uh, where the hell to go. Uh, do we go up? Do we go down? Oh wait, there's Archaea everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but they uh, kind of got set up in Crossroads. There hasn't been much pressure on Crossroads yet. But I think uh, the Skulls have been checking there all the time, just waiting for the RT or anyone getting out there. Uh, this game kind of uh, looks like there will be a slow struggle for resource towers. And, uh, you know, 
Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, we're just seeing a fight there in Krebis. Um, you know, the Marine, Marines are pushing back the aliens. So the more RT harassment that we're seeing at this point. Um, but the Marines are placing mines really well around the map. But if you also do um, at the drifters around the map as well, Archaea yep. really does have battlefield information um, with all those drifters just feeding them information. All right. So the computer lab RT goes down too. Uh, there was a Felix trying to defend, but he is gonna go down to Skogan. And the crossroads, Kingyo is holding it for such a long time. Look we at the We see picture. a drifter attacking Kingyo. <laughs> oh, you better get away from that drifter, man. <laughs> wow, nice micro there by Nice, and, nice uh, and he goes back. All right. All right. Uh, so we see a marine moving up in summit reception. Um, I'm seeing duplex a lot, Vin, um, kind of going in alone or just trickling in. Are you noticing that? It's it's really odd. Yeah, I'm but, seeing the but they odd are... one here and there. Yeah, but those guys are going alone. Are the defenders? They are trying to defend what they already have or build. Yeah. However, just a couple of seconds ago, two marines died in the reactor core. They were trying to pressure uh, the RT down there, but uh, that didn't happen. So. If you see two guys in there, they will probably try to pressure whenever there is no Skalks around. But if you see one, he's the one who's gonna be building and defending. So let's check this out. Actually, what great defending in cro uh, yeah. in crossroads. Um, now we see that cis chain moving into sub access. That is looks like it's gonna be their second hive. Risk is in there. Yeah. They're probably giving that information back, but two skulks and alert just pop out of nowhere. Risk is probably wide-eyed at this point, and he is just going to go down uh, as they just run over him. And that computer lab is not going to stay up either. It's just going to go down so quickly if those two skulks start jumping on it. Uh, but they are still holding Crossroads strong. I think that what the Marines really want, they know they are not strong down at the sub access. So they are trying and to go for see... Crossroads and Atrium. Yep, and we see sub-axis has just been dropped, um, so that is growing as we speak. Uh, the Marines probably don't know about that yet, though they do know that they yep. assisted in there. Um, but the Marines are definitely going to go for Crossroads or Atrium at this point. They need to hold one of those, or this this is going to be a short match. Yep, and there's a Tain uh, taking down on the resource tower and Atrium. And I can tell you, we've got... We are six minutes into the game and just the armor one uh, has been finished now. I think that's uh, too little too late and uh, I yeah, agree. weapons one coming weapons up right now. Weapons one just oh. starting now, six and a half minutes into that. I mean, in the last game we saw Archaea pump those out, what, would we say four minutes? Uh, three, four minutes into the game. Three, so three minutes. Really early, so yeah. About, yeah. And, uh, you know, they... Now are going for duplex is going for atrium now. There's a Tane defending. He dies in there, so that's good. But in the meantime, the crossroads is being destroyed and computer lab is being harassed. So the marines are trying to be everywhere, but they're actually nowhere almost. It's uh, very so crazy. disorganized, so so to speak. Yeah. You know, it, it's kind of like they they seem to go as a group aimlessly, um, and then just end up where the aliens are, and they don't even yeah. know why. What you can. See on the Archaea side, what's interesting is they are always trying to use at least like a uh, Skalk and Lurk or two Skalks if they know there will be Marines defending. If they think there's no one gonna be defending, you see just one Skalk going there and trying to harass the resource tower. That's really interesting too. Uh, the cooperation on Archaea side is so strong. I mean, wow, just wow. Yeah, and we're seeing Duplex moving into Pipe Junction, King Yo. Finally. Duplex, they are making a push into sub-access, just passing ventilation, but they're going to hit a wall of Hydras yeah. right now. And Skulk, there's that Lurk and Skulk combo. This is fight <laughs> is not going to last. Oh, yeah, I was great wrong. Great shooting on a Duplex side. Great shooting. And Ray needs to get back, but there's still those two Hydras. So he can still harass them from far. Link. And he's gonna wait maybe for another Skulk to help him there. But you see, there's two Skulks uh, coming up on Atrium with the third one in Crevice. Uh, they might wanna go for that, but 
And with that second hive done, we see Blink and Leap uh, research right now. That is going to help out the alien team in a huge way, especially against 1-1 yep. Marines. Uh, as far as fades go, it looks like uh, Trefnix, Skuggin, and Kuroyo, who can go Ono. Um, actually, sorry, that was 28, not 78. <laughs> um, but uh, those two can go fade. Yep. I'm thinking we might see two fades because yeah, one uh, is there. Uh, Koryo is actually fading. Koryo is faded, and yeah. he's got a fade from the uh, team resources. So I think they might not gonna use uh, those uh, personal resources for the life forms. Uh, that's always better if you want to go for something really crazy later on. <laughs> Crossroads RT has just been dropped by Skuggin. Uh, Duplex at this point are are basically going to get pinned, it looks like, um, between Atrium and Sub Access. I mean, they're pushing into Crossroads right now. Big in a big push into Crossroads, trying to get that down. Biobomb has started, and we see that RT just being dropped. And they are gonna yep. need to hold this. How I I just don't know how they're gonna be able to hold this because yeah. once there's no quick I mean there's no there's quick way to get back. Yeah, there's a fate coming right now. He was uh, attacking the atrium RT, which is not his business. There should be a stock on it, and this fight should be hurting those three marines or picking up the last one. So yeah, he is checking them uh, from afar. Uh, those three marines are pushing to pipe junction. They are gonna try to get into the heart of the alien territory. But you see two fights now. Drefnix and Koryo trying to take on those marines, but the great shooting there, and both of those guys are out on health. Uh, Ray coming up to harass, slow the marines down, and on the other side there, so Dane. And behind, Drefnix comes, control. swipes down Risk right from behind. Wow, that was fantastic. And these. Right. This push Three is going to be now. over. Three fates now, and this is just getting crazy. Uh, this game might gonna end with the fates, I guess. Yeah, there's three fades on the battlefield right now with a lurk. This is not good for duplex. They just got weapons two researching right I'm now, and they I'm do not yep. have a foothold in Crossroads or Atrium. Yeah, they don't have enough armor to fight with those fates. Uh, or the firepower yet and uh yeah and as we can see in crossroads uh Koroyo just oh, they're just cutting almost. them down <laughs> like wheat yeah this is nuts and we see a fade fight in crevice against ray and he fade. goes down yeah but the fate is right behind the corner he needs to be careful about this there's two duplex folks felix and swalk Third one coming, yeah, and fate or retreats. So, f the resource tower in Crossroads is uh, being chomped on, and aliens already want to get into the computer lab. They got the RT down there, uh, and we see that the aliens have sisted into Crossroads. So even if the Marines come yep. in there to clear the cyst to drop anything, it takes a moment for this for the infestation to move back. So it's a great delaying tactic. Um, that the aliens can use against duplex here and uh, if they sist into there and fortify that and there's the good yeah. game from duplex they knew that this was not going well <laughs> and Archaea takes the duplex versus Archaea match 2-0 wow what <laughs> a game what a game every time I see Archaea play uh, it, it doesn't seem uh, you know how there's like some teams where you're kind of like, okay, these guys are aggressive, these guys will do this, that. Yeah, Archaea is so nimble uh, in, into what they want to do, and they change up so much um, because they're so good. Like you said, the last game that we saw them, uh, they're so good at reading the enemy and the enemy's tactics. Yeah, the, the, if you look at the, what the Archaea is doing around the map, they are always doing the right thing. It's not like, let's push here and see what that's gonna take us they are always doing the right thing if the push doesn't feel right they'll just change it up and you know crazy crazy thing but as we've been talking about uh, we've got some black horses that might actually take on Archaea maybe in a season 3 not season 2 but I see the end of Archaea there <laughs>
like they're dominant. Of course, there will be the top team forever, but you know. Yeah, yeah, there will be others that come up, but our, right now, Arkea is the top team, and they are an amazing team. All right, guys, so that is it for the Arkea versus Duplex match. Arkea again takes it 2 0. Uh, we are going to be starting the next match here uh, soon on this Twitch channel.